It is Tuesday, July 28th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorgeous Damn Update. A trio of articles have broken since yesterday's video, including video shows Chongqing hit by a biggest flood of year. Also, Three Gorgeous Dam in good condition, authorities says. Last and certainly not least, a series of photos supposedly released yesterday from the dam. We also have some new Twitter footage playing in the background of today's video. Let's get into it. A brief caveat before we start today's video. The footage you see in the background of the dam was taken from a supposed live stream only hours ago. The link to that stream is pinned to the top of the comments. And our first article of the day comes courtesy of TaiwanNews.com. Videos show Chongqing hit by biggest flood of year. Despite the purported flood reduction effects of the Three Gorges Dam downstream, Chongqing was hit by the crest of a massive flood on Monday, July 27th, inundating parts of the megacity as well as other nearby municipalities. After being pounded by torrential rain for days, the Changjiang Water Resources Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources on Sunday, July 26 announced that the number three flood was striking the upper reaches of the Yangtze River Basin. The mammoth flood surged down the Yaling River, a tributary of the Yangtze, submerging the ancient town of Sikakao and inundating low-lying areas of Chongqing, including its famous landmark Cheoshimen. Hong Kong's Economic Times reports that by 6 a.m. on Monday morning, the water level at Kuntan Hydrologic Station in Chongqing rose to 180.5 meters, exceeding the warning level for the first time this year. This also represents the largest flood to pass through Chongqing so far this year. Located at the nexus of the Yangtze River and Jialing River, water buried Chaodaman 180 platform and the Chaodaman Dock, and floodwaters reached the middle of Chaodaman Square entrance. Meanwhile, the water level in Sikakao, a town with a thousand years of history, climbed to 184.07 meters, three meters higher than the warning level. The Chongqing Flood Protection Drought Relief Headquarters announced that the Jialing River and upper reaches of the Yangtze River were seeing the heaviest floods so far this year. It reported that the water level around Chongqing was continuing to rise and was not expected to crest until late on Monday evening. In addition to Chongqing, the city of Inchi in Hubei province, which sits on the Qing River, a tributary of the Yangtze River, has been assailed by heavy rain for several days. And the videos playing in the background are embedded in this article and courtesy of Twitter. Moving along. The Chinese government reported that the floods had killed five and affected 160,000 people in the city, and the China Meteorological Administration predicted that the rains would continue well into Thursday. This latest flood is the largest yet seen this year by the Three Gorges Dam. The Yangtze River Basin is now entering what is normally the period of heaviest rains which runs from late July to early August, indicating that further deluges could be coming soon. Chinese state-run media mouthpiece Xinhua on Monday claimed that the Three Gorges Dam retained 36.7% of peak flood water that day. However, the report failed to mention that Chongqing and other cities upstream still experienced unprecedented flooding. The report cited the China Three Gorges Corporation as saying that the water inflow rate at the dam reached 50,000 cubic meters per second by 2 p.m. on Sunday, before rising to 60,000 cubic meters per second 24 hours later on Monday, surpassing the previous two floods this year. The corporation, however, did not mention the rate at which the dam discharged water towards cities below the dam, such as Yichang and Wuhan. And one of the biggest takeaways from that article is that rain is expected to continue until Thursday. Moving along to our next article, Three Gorges Dam in Good Condition, Authority Says, courtesy of ChinaDaily.com. Many places in China have been hit by severe floods due to heavy rainfall along the Yangtze River. The river's Three Gorges Dam, the country's largest water control project, has drawn attention at home and from abroad. The authority of the Watershed Hub Management Center of the China Three Gorges Corporation recently took time to answer a few questions for China Daily. Some foreign media have hyped the deformation and collapse of the Three Gorges Dam. What is the current operation status of the project? Have there been any deformation or other risks recently? And his answer, at present, the Three Gorges Dam is operating in good condition. There have been no deformations or other risks, and the project is not as frail as some people think. So that's conflicting with the information we received earlier in the week where there was reports of deformations at the dam. Continuing on with his answer, safety monitoring is part of the project. Monitoring instruments were installed in the dam as early as 1994 to measure its operating condition in a timely and accurate manner. Some 12,000 instruments were installed by the end of June covering the building's foundation and slopes of the project. 
They monitor deformation, seepage, seepage pressure, stress, strain, strong earthquakes, and other situations. Manual inspection work has also been carried out to ensure safety. Rumors about the deformation or collapse of the Three Gorges Dam are alarmist. Any guesses without scientific and careful monitoring of data are unscientific, irresponsible, amateurish, and have ulterior motives. And once again, his answer is in stark contrast to the information that we received a few days ago stating that there was deformations at the dam. Moving along to the second question. How do you respond to the claim that the continuous discharge of water from the Three Gorges Dam Reservoir this year has exacerbated flooding in the middle and lower reaches? Does the flooding of Poyang Lake water system have anything to do with the water discharge from the Three Gorges Reservoir? And his answer. Flood relief of the reservoir does not mean that the reservoir failed to play a role in flood control. For example, the Three Gorges Reservoir's inflow peaked at 53,000 cubic meters per second at 2 p.m. on July 2nd. According to the instruction command from the Changjiang Water Resources Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources, the discharge volume should be controlled at 35,000 cubic meters per second. At that point, the 34 units of the Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station were running at full capacity with an outflow of about 31,000 cubic meters per second. Although flood discharge was underway at the project, the total outflow of 35,000 cubic meters per second was smaller than the inflow of 53,000 cubic meters per second, meaning the project is still playing a role in retaining waters. The flood retention of the reservoir has reduced the flood control pressure of Poyang Lake, China's largest freshwater lake in Yangtze province, and prevented the water level at Hoku Station of Poyang from exceeding the maximum designed water level, which is set to guarantee dike safety. And with the overwhelming amount of conflicting information that we've been receiving lately, we can only hope that he's right. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. Moving along to our next article, courtesy of Global Times, Flood Water Discharge from the Three Gorges Dam in Hubei. And this article doesn't have much text. It's a series of photos supposedly taken yesterday from the Three Gorges Dam and released by Xinhua. Our first photo shows an aerial photo taken on July 27, 2020. It shows flood water being discharged from the Three Gorges Dam in central China's Hubei province. And I think this is a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content. <laughs>